Hello friends, welcome back to my lifestyle. So today I'm going to show you how to create the Dial Coconut Water Foaming Hand Soap. So I have been making my own soap for like the last two years. My family and I wash our hands a lot and so we go through soap like nobody's business. So I had a bunch of the Dial Soap um, body wash around because I coupon and so I was trying to figure out a way to utilize them and make my own soap because the foaming soap was kind of expensive to keep going and purchase you know over and over again so I started utilizing it and I got the recipe down <laughs> it's I mean it's, it was really really simple um so I actually saw a commercial the other day and so that now they're putting the refills inside of the packaging with the uh, with the dial soap so the first thing you will need to do is to make sure that you have a pump bottle because you can't pump out foam if you don't have a bottle that actually helps you so I saved all of my dial bottles as I told you before I, I use it all the time so I have tons of these bottles that I just started saving and so I start using them you'll also need a tablespoon to measure out um, your body wash as well as a regular spoon to um, stir your um, solution and then here this is some uh, blue colored soap dye so that I want mine to look the color of the um, body wash because when you put it in there it will be a little transparent unless you use a little bit more of the soap and then you'll also need the doll um, coconut water body wash and you can use this with any fragrance or any scent um, of dial that you would like to use in order for it to come out so so I just wanted to share with you the ingredients. And so your water needs to be warm. So I use hot tap water um, uh, for mine. So that way it helps the body wash to dissolve. So all I'm gonna do is to measure out two tablespoons of the Dial body wash um, in here. You can use three, but I try to stretch mine out. Um, your This bottle will actually hold about a cup, um, a cup of water, um, maybe just you know a few drops more, but I usually do about one cup of water. And then I take Take my um, dial body wash and measure it out my two tablespoons and then I'm here I'm just cuz I don't want to waste any product I'm going to scrape all of this out and then I'm going to dip it into um, the solution I guess I got my hand in the way but I'm going to dip it in the, to the solution to kind of get off the excess of the um, body wash and here I'm just scraping all of it um, out so that way I get every um, corner of the soap or you know that's in here So once I get all of the soap off of the tablespoon, I'm going to slowly agitate the water or just uh, stir it a little bit, the solution, so that it kind of dissolves in the measuring cup. I don't want to create bubbles, you know, by moving it vigorously. So I'm just taking my time to kind of mix it up, making sure that it dissolves, moving it around the bottom because of the dial soap is gonna go to the bottom. So now I'm gonna take um, my bottle and I am going to take my solution and I'm going to slowly pour it into the bottle. I do not want to um, make a, you know a lot of bubbles or foam inside the bottle because sometimes it will damage the pump and then you won't really be able to use it. So I'm just gonna pour, slowly pour the solution in there to create the least amount of bubbles as possible um, while I'm pouring it inside of the container. And so I'm leaving room for air. I could have put a little bit more of the solution, but whatever I have left, I'm just gonna transfer it into another container. Um, but, um, and so now I'm going to add um, my blue uh, soap dye. Um, now this is optional. You don't even have to use this because most of the time I don't use it. Um, I just use it every blue moon and I was using it for the purpose of the video, but I'll just put in about two drops of this um, a blue soap dye and it's fine because I use it when I like when I'm making like cupcake soaps or other types of soaps as well and it doesn't stain your clothes or stain your hands or anything like that it just gives color to the bottle so it looks more presentable you know like if it's coconut water you know that it's blue right if they're 
than it in the store. So when your guests come to use it, you want to make sure that it looks, you know, the same. So um, now I'm just going to take it and just kind of mix it. I'm just being gentle with it. I'm not trying to agitate it too much, but I want everything to dissolve and mix well um, in the container. So I just want to manipulate it, you know, to the best of my ability. The bottle is warm because, of course, the water is warm. Um, if my water cooled off, I'll just pop it in the microwave for about 20 seconds. You don't want it to be boiling where you're going to melt everything in there, but just enough for it to dissolve, you know, the 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 soap that you're putting in there the body wash that you're putting in there as well as the soap dye make sure that it is mixed very well so once we um have it mixed up together um then we are going to um get ready to pump so i want you to see how um foamy it is it actually is going to look just like um the foaming soap that you would get from the store so it is very foamy as i told you so I hope you like this video. Please comment, click like, and subscribe, and we will see you on the next video.